heard this. Next, we will take a look at uh, the analytical functions, analytical or window functions that are available in SQL Server. This is very important uh, topic. Uh, the analytical functions, you know, they call it sometimes uh, it has um, uh, window functions, but uh, some people they call it as analytical functions. Okay, so the, uh, the analytical functions or window functions are the powerful feature in SQL Server. It allows us to perform calculations on a set of rows within a query result, okay? So it operates uh, over a defined window or the subset of rows and can provide the aggregated uh, results. Um, you can do ranking, you can do row numbering and other useful analytical insights, okay? Uh, the Now the question is, um, what are the, why should I use uh, window or analytical functions? Can't I achieve the same using the conventional SQL queries, yes, you can do it, but uh, the conventional queries, if you use it to implement the results that are similar to your analytical functions, it requires lines and lines of code. You need to write a query, you need to do joining, or you need to use a couple of uh, sub queries, okay? Uh, using analytical functions, you don't have to write, uh, you know, so multiple levels of sub, you don't have to use multiple sub queries also, okay? So the uh, analytical functions um, allows us to perform calculations and aggregations on a specific window or subset of rows. That's what I said a while back. These functions provide a way to perform complex calculations and aggregation without the need for subqueries or sub temporary tables. This is very important, okay? It allows to uh, easily analyze and manipulate the data with specific partitions or windows of your result set. And these are the different types of um, analytical functions that are available or the window functions available in SQL Server. We'll go over uh, each and every analytical functions. What is the over function? We already discussed about that, right? So the over function and partition by, the, you know, you can use over function individually or you can use it along with um, the, Mm, the partition by also okay the usually the uh, over uh, function uh, you know that that one will uh, be used in conjunction with analytical functions uh, in a SQL server to perform calculations on a specific uh, set of rows within a query okay so this is the syntax for uh, the the over function okay this is the for example you have a sum function sum or average function some function over order by the you know order by class in the order by you can specify the order date over order date or something like that okay uh, order by in the over function uh, inside this order by okay you can use order by uh, the column name whatever the column you know which based on which column you want to do the order by that you can specify and then rows are um, a range class you can use it and uh, so these are the functions uh, here in this case uh, let me do one thing I did not open this so uh, so this function the function can be count or sum or max or row number it can be anything okay you can use whatever function you want it but you can operate this function uh, uh, in conjunction with over function also okay over function you can use it along with these aggregation functions either you can use count or sum or max whatever the, these functions right you can use it here so the over class um, is used in conjunction with uh, the analytical functions okay analytical functions in sql server uh, you know, you can perform calculation a specific set of rows within a result set, query result, okay? And uh, for example, I'm going to use a uh, table, okay? Let me do one thing. I will just uh, show you with an example. I just uh, jump into the, uh, the SSMS. We have already seen in the last session how this uh, over function works. Anyhow, uh, we will take a look at it one more time. And uh, for example, I wanted to, I have something like, uh, let me, I already create these tables. 
um, sales ID, order date, and uh, amount also we have created it. Okay. And uh, okay, this is the one. Uh, what I am going to do is so I'm going to use uh, select um, store from sales one. Go. And if I press F5, you can see the, let me just move this up. So these are the values are there here, okay? And now we will see how we can use uh, the uh, the or, or the over function, okay? For example, um, so here we have entered the order date amount, very good. So I want to use uh, some function along with the over, okay? So let me do one thing. I just want to use something like this. Some select um, sales yeah, sales ID, comma the order date, comma amount, comma sum of the amount. over as um, sales amount something okay and from sales one i'm going to say from sales one <clears throat> so in this case the sum function is used with the over function uh, class to calculate the total sum of the amount, the total uh, sum of the amount across all rows in my sales table, across all rows in the sense, sum of the total sales, okay? I would say total sales. Now the requirement is along with the amount, I want to display the total sales amount also side by side. Okay, side by side, I want to compare it. Uh, okay, here, this is the first query. So let me just move this up. There are two output windows. So this is the one. The, if you add all these values, okay, the amount column, I'm talking about this one. Okay, all the values in this amount column, if you add, you will get, 1200 this value i need to display it alongside the along with the amount column along with the amount column okay now the question is um, okay this is fine and um, but here what happens is along with the aggregated value you can display the detailed record also supposing i wanted to um, if i don't use over function what will happen so without over function, how you can produce me an output something like this. Let's say your manager wants to see the total sales amount uh, that needs to be displayed along with each line item. How can you do that without this analytical function over? So in that case, you need to write the same query. Okay, and sales amount. And what I am going to do is I'm going to use, um, let's say something like I'm just to put some placeholder amount total amount and uh, from from uh listen or minus um this is sales table right sales one i'm going to say yes one and uh But this total amount column is not there in the sales one table. Okay, this is a placeholder. I'm just putting it because in the I need to find out the sum of uh, amount. Okay, in, in I need to use some function for that. I'm going to use a total amount in the sub query. Okay, which I'm going to use it now from join. I'm going to use the um, same thing is something like uh, select uh, let's say a 
sum of amount as total amount, okay? But uh, when you use uh, some function from sales one, and here I'm going to say group by, you need to use some column as a group by, right? So here what I do is um, uh, group by order date, okay? We will say order date. So if I use, uh, let me do one thing, order date. Order date uh, and um, D on uh, the what other thing we can do is um, let's say T dot uh, order date. Or a little sub query, okay, and is equivalent to yes one dot order date. This is how any to use it. See, this say total amount will become part of this one, okay. Again, here I've used the alias as D here, and so you need to put D here, D dot, because this total amount is not available in this table. We need to tell explicitly, uh, you know, from which um, query or table this column comes from. So this column is available in this subquery. The subquery result set I just uh, given, I gave an alias as a D here. So in that case, um, yeah, so this is what is happening. Okay, in this case, um, you need to specify the D dot total amount. And sorry, here, uh, this is my D dot or not D, D dot order date and uh, S1 dot order date, okay? You to join these things, um, but here you know there is a incorrect syntax near order date. Okay, here you cannot use order date. Supposing you want to use, um, you know, let's say date part, uh, order date, comma month, and month you can use it. How do you use uh, date part? Um, so here, what I'm trying to do is, um, I'm going to extract only the month from this table. So how do we, uh, extract only month from a column? I, I can use the cost function to, okay. What I will do is I'll just use this one as cost function. Okay. There's a cost, um, order date. order date um group by cost order date okay and um no there is a problem here also okay and uh in this case uh, let me do one thing call instead of cost i'm going to use the date part uh let's say month comma i want to do something like month any of we will modify that one also okay order date as month okay and uh, mm, uh, in this case you need to have the month column here also okay what i'm going to do is date part month comma order date and d dot uh, month is equal to s1 dot um yeah i'm going to say as as month. Instead of order date, we can use month also. It's incorrect syntax near order date. Mm -hmm. Okay, best thing what I'll do is I'll just um, simply yeah, wait to complicate this one. I just remove everything. Mm, 
date part is not required let me do one thing i'll just uh, sales id order date amount right so uh, here i just use sales id comma month okay and group by sales id group by sales id and um, yeah so in this case um, i have used the sales id comma sum of sales amount uh, uh, okay and uh, the next one is the join condition right uh, group by again it shows some problem let me just execute up to this yeah yeah group by yes you are correct right Oh, that is a problem. I think uh, it would have worked with the order date also. Sales ID is giving some problem here. Order date S1, S1, group by. Okay, in this case, you need to put S1 dot sales ID because the sales ID is available in this one. Okay, let me do one thing. Yeah, this is how you need to write it, okay? But uh, in this case, uh, if you compare these two things output, right? The group by what it does is it will eliminate the duplicates. And if you see here, compare this one here also six rows and here we have six. Rows. Yeah, in this case, both of them gives the same output. But total amount still it is not coming out clearly. Let me check what is the problem here. Can someone tell me why the total amount is not coming out clearly? Because I'm using the from class here and sales ID total amount. This total amount is coming from this one. Mm -hmm. From sales one is when. And uh, okay, let me do one thing. Instead of this, I will use something I join. Okay. Mm -hmm. D dot sales ID group by. So in this case, the idea here is you need to use a lengthy query, right? A lengthy query, but still it is not giving the correct thing. But here I've used the group by. A group by causes, uh, it considers each and every sales ID as a unique record okay that is the problem here okay it, it considers what i'm going to do is i'm going to use otherwise um you can use the same thing in your from class itself okay from mm, okay here the sales amount total sales amount comes from that one so even this case also it gives me, but in this case, it gives me the first uh, value only, okay? It gives me 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 for everything, right? Uh, sales amount, it gives me 100, 100, and 200 something. It's not giving correctly, you know, there is a Cartesian join is happening here with this one, okay? There is a, because we need to join the inner and outer query with the common ID, okay? So what I wrote was correct, uh, but still, it is not producing the same output. A join is correct only, uh, but the column which we used it is not the correct one. Okay, what I will do is I will take this example. Okay, where is that uh, over, over, uh, this is the one, right? So in this case, I will use partition, partition by month or something like that, okay? And here we have uh, order date. What I will do is a date part month come order date as month. First, let us check this one. We will take some other example and see because this first column is the unique key column. If you do group by, obviously, it will not give you the um the total sales repeatedly okay well fine this is good it is working fine i'm going to use the same thing out here so here uh, month one uh, you want to see the sales study right 
sales is one to three and uh, each month what is the uh, uh, how much sales we made the, in this uh, month one there are three transactions happen along with the three transaction i want to display the total sales okay and here i'm going to use uh, instead of sales id if you use sales id that is the confusion is happening and now i just use the month here Mm, group by month. Only here I just say month is equal to SN dot uh, month. But even in this case, the, the group by, when you mention the month, right, it is month got highlighted here. Month uh, is coming from this one only d dot month and um s dot month is correct only right um mo and th oh here it is a problem this month uh invalid column name month okay what i will do is i will just put um, um d dot month will it work because it has not yet been computed right so there is a problem okay Otherwise, uh, okay, what we will do is uh, in this table, we need to insert something like this. Oh, okay, okay, let me do one thing. Instead of uh, extracting it on the fly, see what happens is we have given an alias for the month, right? For this one, it extracts the month, but um, you cannot use the extracted month, uh, you know, as a column because this is not a physical, uh, physically available at this moment, okay? Um, you can extract on the fly the month from the order date column, but it is not physically available. Only if it is physically available, you can use it in the group by class. That is the reason why if you keep the cursor D dot month column not available. It is not available on the fly. Okay, that is the problem now. So what um, I will do is I will insert a month here. Okay, otherwise best thing we will do it that way. Okay, I'm going to use a month column here. month int i just say it's an integer value and i'm going to use something like a month here month comma month here what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert um one month one this is first month only right yeah this is also first month and this is also first month and this is the second month and this is the second month and this is also second month See, it is, uh, you know, it requires this much of effort, right? Uh, if you have to use the SQL query without uh, the order by, it causes this problem. Oh, comma, I did not put comma here. Oh, that's the reason why it was. Okay, done. So here simply we put month, month order date and uh, if i query this one over it does the perfect job good okay and the same thing instead of this i'm going to use a month on the fly yeah this is the you know basic thing you should be aware of it uh this month column is available in our sales one table already okay but you can dynamically extract uh, the month uh, from any date column using the date part but uh, when you even though you can extract it dynamically it is not uh, available physically, right? Okay, here, what is the problem? Ambiguous column, okay. I just put S1 dot month. Okay, and um, because month is available in, because the same sales column, the sales one we've used it here also, right? And so we need to specify explicitly D dot month. And here you need to specify D dot month. Okay, let it be there. Month should month is available in sales one in this right. Let me just execute this multi-part item D dot month could not be found. Okay, okay. It is working perfectly. Okay, let me do one thing. I just execute these things together here. 
now also the problem it is not giving the correct answer month and month we are linking it okay month and month and uh, let me do one thing i just uh, use this one along with this mm -hmm. here i suppose use partition right partition by month because it is doing by part partition by month partition by month and uh, we need to specify the order by also for partition by is enough order by is not mandatory both of them are producing the same output but when I use partition by, what happens is it um, groups uh, the data by month. Okay. And in this case, uh, the month one, the total sales amount is 450. So 300 plus 150, 450, 450. And month two, 750. It is doing perfect job. Okay. The, this is analytical function. But if I don't use the analytical function, the output is also same here. Okay. Now, along with that, is there any way I can display the total sales amount also without, you know, partition by also I need it. I need the. Okay. Am I audible to all? I think some problem happened in my speaker, mic. So now also it is correct, right? But in this case, you can see that. The... Change to microphone. Okay, advanced. There is a loose connection. Just... Am I audible to all? Uh, let me just check with you all one second. Mm. Hello, hello. Yes, uh, I am audible, right? Okay. Um, let me just check this one. Fine, now you understood, right? But uh, here, you can do the total sales amount. Here, how will you bring the total sales amount? Here, it gives me the group by month. Okay, group by month. But here, uh, without uh, using group by, can I do that? Without using group by, uh, can you do the sum of sales amount? You cannot do it, right? You cannot do it. If you execute this one, uh, yes, this is not going to work. Uh, invalid in the select because it is not contain either aggregate function aggregate function the group by is an aggregate function okay you need to use group by along with the group by only you can get it in that case uh, even it is challenging writing the uh, cumulative uh, total along with this one right so but up to this it is working i just comment this if i comment this you know you can do it this way so net net, if you compare these two things, the outputs are same, but in this case, uh, you, you know, you need to write this many lines of code. You need to write these many num lines of code, but whereas with the over function, with the combination of partition by and over, you can write just, uh, you know, two lines of code, but whereas here you need to join all the things, okay? So in this case, what is happening is uh, over partition by, so by month, right? This class, partitions are grouping the data by the month column and then creating separate groups for each month the sum uh, function the sum of amount function it will calculate the sum of the amount column within each partition look here you know within this partition it groups all these things within this partition or group it, it does the aggregation on this one, okay? It does the aggregation on this one and, you know, it produces the output like this. 
it repeats this one. Okay, this is the. So now you understood uh, the difference between the over class and um, without over class. How you can write it? The SQL query. The advantage of uh, over class is you can display non-aggregated values along with the aggregated values. So these are the non-aggregated values. Along with that, if you want to display the aggregated values. In that kind of situation, the over function is very, very much helpful. You can also use the partition by class with the over class to specify the column on which we need to perform aggregation. Okay. And uh, this is what we have seen it in this example. Okay. And what is the difference between group by and partition by? We get a limited number of records using the group by class, whereas we get all records in a table using partition by class. We can display the detailed records along with the aggregated values. Uh, here it gives one row per group in the result set. For example, we get a result for each group of customers sitting in the group by class. It gives aggregate columns with each record in the specified table. So this is the difference between these two. You need to remember this. Got it. So, so the over function is used to perform calculations across rows in a result set. That is what we have seen it. The over function can be used with uh, various aggregation functions like uh, sum, average, count, and so on. Okay. 